Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Patent the Organizer. Fun video today. It's the first video I'm making with Rennie Doyle himself. Rennie, welcome to the show. He's a legend in the industry. Not only is he, yes, oh yes, no, no, you are. He's a professional detailer, but also the co-developer of the Rennie Doyle double black line within the PNS lineup of car detailing products. Today we have the Trio fantastic trio of carpet cleaning products. So a question I often get asked, mm -hmm. Rennie, is by my viewers, first of all, how do you clean carpets? We never know, is it an enzyme stain? Is it dirt? Is it from food? Is it organic, inorganic? Who knows? But there's a simple trio of products that we're gonna show. We're gonna do a demo, of course, on this disgusting, filthy carpet. I gotta talk to Jason from Chicago Auto Parts and Car Supplies <laughs> Warehouse, because no that's from no one lie. of his employees. He, gotta, he has to bring them up to code with detailing, guys. But this is a perfect candidate, because it's absolutely disgusting and we're gonna put these to the test. I hope you feel confident. I do, there's an aroma coming off this mat. But, you know, so it's the scratch and sniff to see what kind yeah, of dirt we it's have. Like we almost didn't want to. So, you know, first off, it's great. This is just like, Happy to have I've you on got the show. chills right now. Uh, my hair standing up on my, on my arms. So, you know, I like to say this on interiors. Right now, I love shiny paint, you love shiny paint. But you know what, our customers, a lot of them don't know the degree of change we bring to the paint, but everybody knows a clean or dirty interior. Absolutely. And yep. so we uh, we had the opportunity when Bob and Dave, when we started developing this, they knew this was my passion. This was something that was really lacking in the industry. And so while three parts might seem confusing, we're gonna take the confusion right out of it. That's what I want you to do is basically there's three products here. And if we talk about them quickly, by the way, don't worry guys, I'll leave links to all of these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Uh, first of all, we have Carpet Bomber. The next one in the trio is the Terminator. And then last but not least, we have the Finisher. So we're going to be explaining what the differences are, which scenarios you'd use them in. And of course, you're going to see them done in a demo. So if you can go ahead and like start us off, how do you, when you see this dirty carpet, this can mm -hmm. be uh, upholstery, fabric, carpeting, whatever it is inside Absolutely. the car. How do you start off? You see this dirt, but how do you remove it? You know, the first thing you want to do is go in and get all the dry soils out. Is okay. Vacuum it. Vacuum. Just, just yep. do a great vacuum. Uh, the reason why is that if you start cleaning it, the chemicals are going to be absorbed by the dirt. Uh, and you want to get all that loose stuff out of there. And then the second thing is, is the fibers, as you've got dirt in there, they're going to get kind of balled up with that and start getting fuzzy. Absolutely. And so go ahead and get it vacuumed out really good. Now you've got carpet to start dealing with. So this we vacuumed, it's pre-vacuumed. Right. Yep. So let's pretend just for a second, this is actually clean. Yep. Uh, that you've just got normal soil and you just want to do a light job. Yes. All you're going to do is start with carpet bomber. You're okay. going to do a nice light. I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll do a little section right up in here. Yep. And so you just take, the nice thing about this, you don't have to over soak it. And it's got, if you smell it, a real pleasant smell. It's not real chemically. And then all I'm going to do a lot of times, I won't even have to agitate it. Um, our days of using heavy extraction and so forth, we use a lot of steam with the system. Absolutely. But a lot of times, if you just come in here, and I'm going to set these down for a second. No, you're going to see how simple it can be. It doesn't have to be these crazy expensive no. tools. He has a microfiber towel and just a standard brush. But look at the difference. You can even see that with the naked eye, but there all you go. The, look at all look the dirt on the towel. Yeah. And all it's doing is a chemical, it's, it, it's a, uh, a transfer, a chemical transfer from one surface to the other surface. Got you. And the nice thing is, is you can take, and this is going to be dry, in a couple minutes. So if it's a really clean carpet, you can go over this, you can find the direction of the carpet. A lot of people, lines, no lines, all this different thing, but just find the grain and look at how much cleaner when you find the grain. Absolutely. It's finished. Yeah, yep. That's pretty dirty, yep. I mean, actually. So there's so imagine something the effect on an already clean thing, well then you have an, a cleaner surface. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. So now let's come into the next stage. Yes. And so we just used the carpet bomber. Let's say it's a, a little dirtier, is I'm gonna do what's called stacking. So I'm gonna take Terminator, and what these are is there's enzyme packages. Bob and Dave say it really elegantly. You know, they've been in the, chemi the chemical side. As yes. I'm kind of a, a, you know, a street guy. Yep. Um, but the enzyme packages are complementary. And so one's gonna have more basic you know, compounds, lighter, not quite as strong. Terminator's gonna be the stronger. It's gonna do the heavy lifting. It's gonna come in there and chew all the, that dirt and soil up. This is, Absolutely. the Terminator's gonna go in after the real heavy oils, organics, you, you mentioned spilled milk earlier. Yes, yes. And so it's gonna go, it's gonna go after that heavy lifting. But what you can do if it doesn't need serious heavy lifting is stack them. And so, so you can combine them. Yeah, okay. On the surface, not in the bottle. Yep. Because they'll cancel each other out. Yes. Right? And so all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get a little more aggressive. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is it? Five dollar brush. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna come through 
and I'm just gonna hit this with my brush. And I'm gonna, I don't know if I hit that very good or not, but there's a nasty stain right there. Watch. It lightened it up. See how it's kind of cutting it up right there? Absolutely. Now this is a wear spot. So like this, see this here? You're not gonna do a whole lot with stuff that's where the grain of the, the carpet's kind of missing. Yeah, because the material is missing. Exactly, yeah. but if we come back over where I started it there, and again, now I'm gonna come back through and I'm just gonna take my towel, let's flip it off to a clean side, okay? And you, you said too, you can combine, if you have okay. a steam cleaner, for example, you want even more cleaning power. Yeah, we can tell it's hard to be pulling a lot of that out. Right, yeah. right, there you go. <laughs> yep. Right there, that easy, okay? So now let's say that you really, okay, it, it's getting pretty dirty. So we'll come over a coffee stain yeah, right those there. those crazy stains. Okay, yeah. so now what I'll do is I'm gonna treat this separately. So I'm gonna come hit through, I don't know, maybe an ink stain. Now this is cool on ink, what I've learned, is we do a circle around it and come in on it so it can't spread, it won't plume out. Okay. So if you start out wide and come in, it won't, it won't spread. And the same with the coffee, we're gonna come out wide yes. and then come in. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and this time not combine it, we're gonna go ahead and direct brush it. So we're doing some tests. Obviously this is beyond what I'd consider dirty. This is just disgusting. Look at that, right, right there. Yeah, it's brightening it up. And we're getting, are we getting rid of that stain too? Well, yep, it's gone. It's gone. And so now what we'll do is we'll come over and see, we're not putting a lot on. It's, it's pretty minimal. Now this is a little piece of carpet actually missing, but watch, we'll go around that area. So you can stack and combine in that way. If you don't know exactly what the stain is all about, you know chemically you're having different Absolutely. enzyme packages that can work for you. Absolutely. And so if you look at both those areas, that's pretty amazing. This, this came right off. It's it it came right off, yeah. came right off. Now let's go after something. I mean, this is a wear spot. So let's go down this corner. We got a lot of- we We're got a increasing lot of... the degree of difficulty. I love that. Right, right. By and the so... way, guys, he was talking about uh, Bob and Dave. Those are the two brothers and owners of PNS. Uh, everything is made in the USA. Dave is actually the chemist. So they blend their own products as well. Much respect for that. And it's just a great lineup. Value for money is insane. And of course, on the channel, you can see me do a deep dive into a lot of the products because you guys win a lot of prizes in my annual car detailing products ah, awards video. It. I'm a lover of the PNS brand in general. You guys are doing great things for the detailing world and community. So what did you do now? So we just pre-soaked uh, a little bit of the Terminator on there. Now look at just pre-soaking it. If I take my hand, watch this. Yep. And you work that in. I'm just going to break it down. Look, it's coffee or something right there. Yes and it's just completely getting broken down even with my hand. So I'll come in here. Now, we haven't used any drill-based um, scrubbers, any brushes. This is all very simple. Now you, if you've got steam, go for it. If you're gonna extract, go for it. But the water content, don't overuse water. Don't saturate it. Exactly. You don't need to with this system. So I just came through and got that. Now what I'll do here is I've already hit it with the Terminator, right? Okay, yep. Coming in with Carpet Bomber, okay? We're just gonna spray a very little on. I'm gonna take it now, if I wanna get a little more off of there, is it's still not quite as clean as we wanna get it. I'm just gonna do a towel wrap over that. I love these tips and tricks. Hopefully okay. you guys love that too. Look at this, look at that, look at it. it's gone. Yeah, oh it's yeah. It's gone, yep. okay? So now this is where the magic happens though. Okay. Okay, let's pretend for a second. I'm yes. just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna finish up that area, okay? We're gonna pretend this whole thing's done. So we can, can we consider, let's say, carpet bomber as being the more general purpose approach when you're not too sure yes. you start off with that. Yep. And if you need some heavier, deeper grind, oily kind of substances as well, you're gonna use Terminator to Absolutely. help terminate the job? Absolutely. Okay. So before we go over here and finish up, I saw this. Okay, watch. Look at my finger. Yes. Okay. It's it, already becoming it's, lighter on that part. It's breaking it up. And those enzymes are just going in there and just nailing it. And so I'll come through. It's already gone. Yep. And this is on a, guys don't forget, on a very, what I consider trashed floor mat. Imagine what it would do to more normal appearing floor mat. So it, it, it's doing a great job. This really should be in a dumpster. I mean, it in should, all intents yeah, yeah. of purposes. You should be replacing that. Yeah, and, and it's a good, another point. If you're in business, what we do, we used to sell mats out of our shop. We see mats like this, a great opportunity, but look at that. Yep. And you know what, because we're not oversaturating, this is almost dry already. So for your customer, if you want to turn a vehicle around quickly, uh, you don't necessarily need to always pull out the extractor or steam cleaner. So they're good to go. And with minimal tools and microfiber towels and a brush and these chemicals, you're, you're doing the job. Now, magic in it. Yes, the Finisher. third part. What okay. is that? It's a neutralizer. Okay. And so the most important thing is there's what's called resoiling. Yes. Uh, resoiling is when you do this, we do a great job. Everything's clean, it seems clean. Yeah, it's nice. We go in, we have a, a nice meal at a restaurant. 
Uh, unfortunately, we know what men's rooms look like. Mm -hmm. And With what a lot of water in. on the floor, yeah, water. water. Yeah. And then you walk across a parking lot, and you're picking up grease, oils, contaminants. And now your feet, it's a rainy day, is you're gonna reactivate the chemicals if they're not neutralized. Because don't forget, they're still in the fibers, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So what happens? These All products, especially if you're using degreasers, which is a no-no, on carpets is they're gonna reactivate and pull everything off the bottom of your shoes. There you go. And off of the, the, your clothing and right back onto the surface. So you dirty your floor mat once again. Ac yep. Absolutely. So this is gonna go through and we're gonna just take and hit this. And what it's doing is I'm just gonna work it in. So but it's it, a peroxide based neutralizer. And so chemically it's neutralizing the cleaners that you have. And they're kind of like when you're neutralizing an APC on the interior surfaces, this is gonna neutralize the chemicals in your absolutely. fabrics, right? Absolutely, yeah. nailed it. And so not only that, is that the peroxide in it, it's gonna create a nice fresh order. It's a, it's a nice uh, a deodorizer Yes. On, on top of it. Not a heavy one, it's not gonna yep. take nasty, but it's gonna take and minimize the smells. It's Light gonna, sanitation. Absolutely, yep. and it's, it's a color safe uh, brightener. So it's gonna brighten the fabrics. So even here is that you don't have to use a lot of it. And so now I'm gonna take a clean rag and I'm just gonna come through on those areas, and you saw me work it in with my hand, Absolutely. like this. Yes. And so what that's gonna do is go all the way, you can see my hand here, see how wet it is? Yep. Is that's doing the same thing on the fibers, and you're just getting all those fibers, this work down into it, so it's neutralizing it, and it's gonna stay cleaner longer. Look at, you can see, look at how bright Absolutely. it is. Absolutely, Absolutely. It's, it's just, and so a lot of times, kind of recap. If I'm in a hurry, yes. and I'm gonna take and, and hit something, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come through, and I'm gonna hit it with Terminator, I'm gonna stack carpet bomber right over the top. I'm gonna to come in and do my aggressive brush, which isn't aggressive at all. So mechanical agitation, basically. Mechanical, yep. go mechanical. And you're, I see you're going left and right, up and yep. down, just agitate in different directions, so That's you're getting it. all the fibers. That's it. Come in, I'm gonna do that. I'm look gonna pull at, it away, <laughs> right, right. You're gonna laugh because it's always impressive. And then I'm gonna come in and neutralize it. So in a few minutes, you can knock out a uh, couple of floor mats there and, and you're done. Done, there it is. So it doesn't have to be complicated, guys. So this trio, once again, so the uh, carpet bomber, and then you have the uh, Terminator, and of course you have the finisher, the peroxide. Uh, by the way, for finisher, are you always using this when you're done using one I, or the two of them I together? Do. Okay. I do, yeah. So it, it's important to always, always it neutralize. Is. It is, and the reason why is that way you're not getting that resoiling. It's also gonna take, and because we're not using much moisture, you're re-wicking. And so re-wicking is when the, the, the moisture that we drive down into the cedar carpet comes back up, and that can take days to happen. When you're using very, very light moisture like this, yes. there is no re-wicking, and the finisher helps to alleviate that completely. So it's, it's pretty awesome. And would you use the same process on upholstery? You do, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So nothing changes? Not, nothing changes. And that same trio and the same neutralizer in the end? Absolutely, okay. you know, sports seating is the big, yep. you know, yes. the big challenge yes. in some of the cars. And uh, we can get sports seating. I won't say to perfect, there's maximum potential. Okay. Maximum potential. Got it. I think uh, clearly, guys, you can see the difference. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Smash the thumbs up, the thumbs up button uh, if you like this kind of videos. Uh, again, links to the products in the description. Thank you so much, Randy. Dude, it was a pleasure rock, to man. have you you're on awesome. the show. You're Keep awesome. on doing what you're doing. Uh, also, guys, they have a support group. What is it called on Facebook? Uh, Beadmaker Lounge. Beadmaker really Lounge. Cool. So if you're starting your business, for example, and you want to have a deeper dive or have some questions on the chemicals, the tools and products from PNS, uh, they can help you out. So there's always a support group out there. You also have the YouTube channel. We do. I see you all the time in the video. Yeah. So they could do great work uh, with reviews and, and so demos as well. So you know how to use their products. And if you want to do deeper dive as well on any PNS stuff, come and check out. Of course, the video's on my channel. So in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.